You're standing right in the middle of it. There's something there. A nurse was found hanging by the neck. I feel a room of emptiness. It's sickness. My fingers are like numb with pins and needles. I'm freaking out. Look, 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 look. We have made contact. Don't leave me here by myself. Where are you, Donna? Perfectly shaped balls like bubbles rising up out of the space right over there. Talk about paranormal. Talk about the other side. Talk about entities and spirits to move through the air with the greatest of ease. <laughs> I'm going to capture. I'm going to capture with my heart and my spirit. I have a letter to read all of us. Right. Okay. Welcome to the Celebrity Paranormal Project. Tonight, you and your fellow team of paranormal investigators will be entering Waverly Hills Sanatorium, a hospital built in 1926 for the express purpose of fighting a tuberculosis epidemic that was sweeping across America. In the span of 20 years, 63,000 people died in this hospital alone. They call it the White Plague, the deadliest disease of its time. It is because of the staggering number of deaths in one place that Waverly Hills has become known as one of the most haunted places in the country. Follow the enclosed map to your base camp. God bless you and good luck. My name is Gary Busey, and I came to Louisville on a mission that I know nothing about. I don't know what to expect, but I have been in a position where I've been to the other side after my motorcycle accident, my death after brain surgery. Forgive me, but I don't know what tuberculosis is. What is that? My name is Takara, and you might remember me from America's Next Top Model, Miss Fabulous. I know Gary from Celebrity Fit Club. And he was like, yeah, you know, I did to the other side, and you know, I couldn't explain it to you. You know, you just wouldn't understand it, you know. Tuberculosis was a disease. It was uh, in the lung area. It was, it was a like, bacterial infection of the lungs, and it, was and a it would actually affect the trachea, and it could get in your blood and eventually to your bones. Hey, thank you, Doc. My name's Hal Sparks. I used to host Talk Soup. I was on a show called Queer as Folk, and I'm a professional jerk. You know, Gary's not the only person who went to the other side, I would like to say for the record. When I was five, I was in a coma, um, and uh, um, I actually had kind of a removed out-of-body experience where I saw myself in the hospital bed. Um, that was a rather uh, big experience, shifted me. And then apparently after that, I was a much more interesting kid. It was like old Beatles, new Beatles. Okay, watch your step, guys. It's gonna get way creepier. Oh, it's big. Wow. Oh my God, it looks like my high school. <laughs> That's the scariest thing of all. I want to give you a blessing of my energy. All right. Oh good, I Come need here, it. Come here, I want to give you a blessing of my energy, and my focus, and my ambition, and my love. Good, we're all going to do this together. We're going to be good fine. You too. Thanks. Yeah, you get it too. No Team crazy. I would love it for it to come out of this, and you know, feeling like we were a real group. My name is Jenna Maraska. I was the winner of Survivor Amazon and uh, the loser of Survivor All-Stars. I actually do believe in this kind of stuff. After my mom passed away, I definitely think that she's been taunting me um, like I would expect her to, because she's a prankster. We're going here. All right. Come on, my sweet soul sister. I talk about her sometimes with friends and the uh, fire alarm will go on in the house or the lights will flicker in the middle of the daylight, so there's really no way around explaining something like that. Oh, look at those really nice pictures. This is where they remove the rib. Their lungs expand? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's where they would put, like, shot or something to weigh down on, on his stomach. I'm Donna Vierico, and I'm an actress and mother. I was not informed 
exactly what this project was. They didn't tell me I was going somewhere haunted. They didn't tell me there were going to be other celebrities here. They didn't tell me it was just going to be us on our own with no crew. I had no idea. Did, have there. you ever had experience with paranormal? Nope. Nope. I definitely would love to walk out of this experience with an experience because I really don't want to be like, oh, I waste my time. I came here. This was stupid. I knew it was going to be stupid. And it was stupid. I really like this to be worth my wow. All right, let's get the missions. I want to go. Huh? I want to go now. Somebody push start. See how this works. Welcome to Base Camp. This computer will guide you on your investigations as you explore the hauntings of Waverly Hills Sanatorium. During the height of the White Plague epidemic, patients died here at an average of one every hour. Tuberculosis is essentially an infection that occurs in the lung tissue. The most common way for tuberculosis to be spread is as airborne droplets as the patient coughs. In the early to mid 1900s, it was frequently fatal. You would basically suffocate as a result of fluid and blood that pools in the lungs. Since tuberculosis was so contagious, not even doctors were spared. And many believe the ghost called the man in the white lab coat. He was one of the doctors and remains behind. I've seen numerous, numerous times a man in a white outfit come walking down the hallway, got about 15 feet from me and disappeared. Because of the enormous number of deaths, one of the most common sights of spirits is what the locals call shadow people. You will see one person then another shadow, then another shadow. So all of a sudden black starts rolling down and rolling down and rolling down the hallway and just keeps coming and coming and coming and, until it totally engulfs you. For many, nowhere in Waverly Hills holds more mystery than the hauntings of room 502 where a nurse named Mary Hillenberg was found dead, hanged by the neck. We're not sure if she hung herself or maybe someone else hung her. Perhaps Mary's ghost remains behind, desperate to tell us the truth of what happened that night. Was it suicide or murder? I don't know what makes this place so haunted. I don't know why. Then maybe it's just all the energy from everybody that did die here. I do know this is considered one of the most haunted places in the U.S., if not the world now. Ooh, I don't want to end on that note. Well, go in there with the grace of God and have plenty of faith and know that Jesus is your savior. You'll be fine. And I'm screwed. I actually grew up um, not far from here. So I know of this place from when I was three, four years old as a place not to go. You're dealing with the ghosts of madmen and you're now part of it. You know, you're in their space. Your mission tonight is to determine which of the four areas you will investigate is the most paranormally active. This area is called the heart of the haunting. You know what we should do? We should Wait, put numbers in a sack. This is our first mission, so pay attention. This is important. This is where we have to watch This investigation table. will take you to treatment room 418, where two patients made a pact to send a message back from beyond. As a team, select two members to conduct the investigation. I'm going, I want to go first. You want to go first? All right, I'll go with you, God. Okay, Jenna and Gary are going. Hal will be your base commander. You will read instructions over the radio and guide your team through the following investigation. Gary, take the EMF meter. How do we know what an EFM meter is? That is this one. Is this an EFM meter? Yeah, I'm, uh, we're getting ready to go to the haunted hospital. And uh, I don't know what to expect. The place where science fiction meets nostalgia. OK, you guys, grab the tools, grab your best. The ghost of early 1900s to the science fiction of what they could be. Hang on, Gary, wait for your team member. Wait for your teammate. If the ghosts aren't there, believe me, Gary will be plenty weird enough. You guys gotta stick together. Let's do it. Turn on the radio. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, right. Exit the base camp trailer. Oh, it's dark. They're waiting for us. Where are we going, the front door? Wait, don't leave me behind. Gary is a whole lot of personality, and he felt like he's seen ghosts a million times, so I, I don't want him to steal my ghost mojo. I'm hoping that I, we see or feel something. I've never really been in a scary situation like this, so I really don't know how I'm gonna react. I may run, or I may possibly pass out. Open the front door, enter the building, and close the front door behind you. There we go. Doors closed, we're in here. to the fourth floor, stopping at the metal door marked four. We're going up now. Uh, 
How you feeling? Pretty scared. We're at door number four and it's already open for us. Uh, it should have been closed, so that's interesting. It it's is open. They're here, they're waiting for us. And the door was supposed to be closed, it was open. It's supposed to be. Enter the fourth floor hallway, turn left, and continue to follow the hallway until you come to the room 418 on the right. 436. We need to go down pretty far. This is really lovely up here. It looks like an old five-star hotel. Apparently Gary has stayed in some real dumps. We're here. In the center of the room, there's a bed. Oh, God. OK, guys, listen up. Room 418 is rumored to be haunted by the ghosts of two former patients named Elizabeth Beecher and Jane Ann Hurley. After Jane Ann died, her ghost appeared to Elizabeth one night. Her face was twisted in pain. The sight made Elizabeth so terrified of dying that she swore she would never leave this room. After Elizabeth died in 1932, nurses reported seeing a black shape in this room and hearing the bed creak when no one was here. They suspected that it was Elizabeth's ghost, still afraid to move on. I feel like something else is here. What was that? <sighs> okay, guys, ghosts respond to familiar situations. By reenacting events from a ghost's past, you may trigger stronger responses from it. Jenna, like Elizabeth Beecher, sit on the bed with your back against the headboard. Gary? Turn your thermal camera on and scan the area for any signs of paranormal activity. The thermal camera is now sending an image of what it sees back to base camp. It's red spots they fading into yellow. Yeah, we see it. Anything? Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm having no readings. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. A minute, wait. wait. OK, something just moved past you guys on the thermal camera. I just, I just heard something to my left of me at the same time that you said something moved past us. He's going in a circle. He's pointing past me on the bed. See some heat in the next bed. He sees what? It's in two beds away. That is really freaking me out. Oh my God, what was that? We got a big reading right oh, here. It's here cold, we're it's cold right here. Oh, there we go. We're standing right in the middle of it. We have made contact. We have made contact now 150%. There's definitely something here. These entities move fast, and they're having fun. Oh, That's amazing. I'm hearing lots of like uh, weird things around me. <laughs> now that you've investigated the area as a team, you will try to see if you can discover anything new with an individual investigation. What? Jenna, you will remain here alone. Gary, return to base camp. I don't want to be in here by myself. Yeah. Honey, yeah. nothing, nothing's going to hurt you. Nothing. OK. You know that? This is really tough. I feel paranoid. I feel like I'm in somebody else's space. And I want to go home. Hal, I'm outside. I'm at the opening place I can see base camp trailer. Gary, how was it out there? I've been in situations like this before, out of my body in different areas. That is very, very immensely haunted. I need to get out of here. OK, hang on. Hold on, let her, let her. Yeah, she might be. Talk to Car. don't tell me what to do. Oh, see, so that noise I just heard is really, really, really f***ed up, and I need you to get me what to do. out of here. Shut up. No, Shut up right now. No, Shut up. Sure. No, I'm not anybody. Shut hey. up. I don't want to be in this room anymore. Shut the f*** up. Hey, shut the f*** up, Gary. Don't talk to me like that, and don't come over here. Oh, see, so that noise I just heard is really, really, really f***ed up, and I need to get the f*** out shut of here. The f hey, shut the f*** up, Gary. Don't talk to me like right that. There. And don't come Anybody, over here. Please? I don't want to be in this room anymore. OK, Jenna, get up from the bed. And return to face camp. Guys, there's a red ball, a little kid's ball in the hallway that wasn't here when we came in. <laughs> I think something's following me down the stairs. 
Okay, just walk calmly and cautiously. Just be safe. I'm at the front door. Jenna! Good work, babe. Good work, good work, good work, good work, good work. Hey, how do you feel now about yourself? I feel graver, minus the fact that I was crying. But you know what? I couldn't stop. I was just like, I don't know if it was just fear, but like, I heard You know, Elizabeth was there. She was there. Sure. All right, guys, our next instructions have come up. This investigation will take you on a search for the shadow people that may have been still roaming at Weverly Hills Sanatorium. I want to go. It's you and hell. Okay. Okay, cool. Jenna, you will be base commander. Okay. You guys have to get your camera packed. I think in order for me to believe, I would have to feel a presence. I don't really need the gadgets. I trust my senses more so than I trust the gadgets. Fire this thing up. I have one of these at home. I, I wish they'd have told me I'd have brought my own. I expect that there's a lot of sorrowful energy in this place. So as much as it's kind of an adventure that you're looking forward to, on the other hand, a lot of bad stuff happened in this place. And I don't know that you could go in there and not feel it. Bye, good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Woohoo. Enter the building, then climb up the stairs. And confirm when you're at door number four. The fourth floor is supposed to be the most haunted floor. It is. It is. <laughs> How you doing? Good. OK, we're at four. OK, here you go. One of the most common hauntings seen at Waverly Hills is what the locals refer to as shadow people, moving shadows that appear in doorways and halls. It is believed that the shadow people are the countless souls of patients who died here, unable or unwilling to move on. Did you guys get that? Yes. You will now investigate two areas that witnesses have reported seeing shadow people. How go up to the fifth floor. All right, have fun. Sagara, you will investigate sightings of shadow people in the fourth floor hallway. The biggest shadow person that people have seen in this hallway is an entity called Big Black. A massive ball of darkness that rolls down this hallway and swallows up all the light as if it were alive. Some investigators have had success drawing out shadow people by using a strobe light in this area. Wait there and look for any shadow people. Okay, goodbye. Describe the area that you're in. I'm in a really sad little room. Okay, here you go. This is the rooftop solarium where children suffering from tuberculosis were allowed to play in the sunshine. Now, visitors to the fifth floor have seen child sized shadow people haunting this area and believe them to be the ghosts of those children long dead. A ghost known as Timmy has been known to cause balls to roll around this room, playing as if he was still alive. Did you get all that? Confirmed. Now kick some balls around this room as you invite Timmy and the other children to come out and play. Um, let us know if you hear anything or if you're how you're doing, okay? You got it. I'm gonna go sleep. Timmy. Roll it back. Roll it back this way. I'm not much of a thrower, I'm sorry. I was picked last. Timmy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody ran across the doorway near 502. What? What does it look like to you? Small, like a child's shadow. Do you think ah. that might have been Timmy? He's hiding if it is him. I think I saw like two lit eyes. So there's obviously a lot of action going on around 502. OK, Hal, Takara, uh, your investigation's complete. You can come back to base camp. OK, about time. Dr. Okay. Kara, we forgot about her. Takara? Yeah? 
ready to go? Yeah. How was it being alone on this floor? I was irritated because I'm by myself. This is a creepy place. Here comes my spiritual warrior brother. <laughs> Look at Hal's face. Here she comes. How did it go? Did you see nothing? <laughs> no. Nothing. Really? <laughs> Not even a sound? <laughs> no. I heard a sound. What'd you hear? I heard a like a door slam and... Well, that, that's kind of scary. Okay, Hal, tell me about it. I saw a black body form, like a bo and just moving quickly <laughs> towards the roof, but looking at me like this. Those are bad ones. Black ones are the bad ones. Yeah. Interesting. We had two missions done, now we're on a third. Okay, here it is. Okay, um, this investigation will take you to the surgery room where patients underwent brutal treatments while doctors searched desperately for a cure. Takara, your uh, base commander. Donna, you're going with Gary. Were you scared when you went outside? Were you scared? Yeah, actually. You're not scared of the dark? No. Kids get scared of the dark because it's the fear of the unknown. There's nothing there tonight that's not there during the day. I'm pretty fearless. I mean, I, I grew up like a tomboy, and I'm not really girly-girly. And like on our ranch, if there was ever a rattlesnake or something, everybody would come get me because I like snakes and that kind of stuff. So I'm not really scarable like that. We're at the front door. Climb up the stairs to the fourth floor. Your investigation will take you to the surgery room where many visitors have reported seeing ghosts of a man in a white lab coat. We're now at door four. It's wide open. We're in a long hallway with a gurney. There are uh, other empty bottles. An open hallway to the left. Walk all the way down a long hallway leading to the surgery room 402. Oh my God, there's something behind me. That was really, really, really creepy. Yep. We're hearing sounds now. They know we're here. We are now in room 402, standing in the center. There was something behind me just now. There is uh, a lot of surgical contraptions on the floor. Right above me, there's a clamp. This looks like horrible surgery. Okay. This area is haunted by a ghost known as the man in the white lab coat who wanders the fourth floor hallway. Some believe that it is the ghost of Dr. Joseph Kynes, a surgeon who contracted tuberculosis. He eventually ended up back in this surgery room, his chest cut open and several ribs sawed off to make room for his diseased lungs to breathe. But the brutal surgery was too much to take, and he died on the operating table. Now, his ghost travels the hallway back and forth to this room, repeating the walk he made countless times in life. Okay, now listen. You will reenact one of the tragic events common to the room and attempt to entice one of the many tortured spirits to make themselves known. Do you understand? The car, I know what to do. I have a hacksaw and a rib bone in my side. We're in procedure right now. Okay. Yes, it's done. The rib bone broke in three pieces. Now look for signs of the ghost in a white lab coat in two different areas. Gary, remain in the room alone. Donna, walk in the hall and see if you can find any signs that his ghost is still wandering around. You look, you look for, you look for an entity. Keep walking until you get to where the hallway makes a slight bend to the left. That's down where I heard that noise, though. Are you there yet? Um, I'm right at the point where it begins to bend slightly to the left. Oh, I'm hearing somebody walking down the hall. What's going on, baby? Okay, I'm hearing somebody walking down the hall to the left. What? Can she see anything? Do you see anything? Do you smell anything? I was sweating. Now I'm getting cold. There was a noise. What was There was just something down to the left hallway. Oh, there's something there. And some oh. Donna, we're not reading you. How you doing, honey? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, it's just that. Donna, say 
something. What's going on, Donna? Should I go see Donna? you like. Tell her we're waiting for. Her. Where are you, Donna? I don't know where I am. No, I don't know where I am. Oh, give me the f out. Where am I? Should I go see Donna? You stay right where you are and you just hold tight while I get Donna out of the building. <laughs> Donna, have you got the door for yet? There was, he pulled the screen right in. Come here, over here, come on. Come on. You're out, you're done. You're totally done. There was something there, and there no, were people no. screaming. Yeah. They're about to come in and get you. Oh, It's a very strange silence that I'm living in right now. It's a silence that has a lot of activity, noise in it from a zone that I don't live in on this earth. Everyone should be required to do this. Gary, your mission is complete so you can head back to base camp. Yes, ma'am. What happened? What, did, did you, you say it was a doctor you saw maybe? No, it wasn't, no. Was it bad? Well, what really freaked me out was that I, I kept looking down there and looking down there and then I saw this man's shadow and his, like, ride, his stride matched the footsteps the that I was hearing. I didn't think I'd freak out, I did. Welcome back. Tell us about your experience. Were you screaming, Gary? Oh, yeah. I heard uh, sounds that were like a mechanical tiger, and it felt graceful there and relaxed there, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Okay, this investigation will take you to room 502, the site of one of the most mysterious deaths in the hospital. Jenna and Hal will conduct this investigation. Donna will be your base commander. Jenna, you and I are going to 502. No! Room 502 seems to be the dark, dark, crazy space. I just want to say something to uh, my girlfriend and my mom, my dad. I love you, and I'll see you on the other side. Takara, do you want to go instead of me? I hoped it wasn't where we were going because it was so up. Come on, what's up? I don't want to be left by myself. I'm going to really be scared crapless. Boogity, boogity, boogity. But we are going to see some All right, kiddos. We are ready to roll. Go get him, Jana. Confirm you're outside room 503. We are at 502. One morning in 1932, nurse Mary Hillenberg was found hanging by the neck outside nurses station 502. Many believe that she committed suicide out of shame for becoming pregnant out of wedlock. But rumors suggest that Mary may have had an affair with the married doctor who not only fathered Mary's illegitimate child, but then performed the abortion in secret. They say that when Mary died from complications during the abortion, the doctor faked her suicide to escape a scandal that could have ruined him. Mary's ghost may continue to haunt this area until the truth of her death becomes known. How you've been chosen to reenact the hanging of Mary Hollenberg. <sighs> Open the sack and radio to base camp what you find inside. There's a journal notebook, and then there's a noose. Now, you will now use a technique called spirit writing to learn the truth about Mary Hillenberg's death from her ghost. Hey, do you know spirit writing? You write the question with your right hand, you wait, and you answer the question with your left hand. He's sitting. Place the journal on the floor in front of you 
open to any blank page. You take the pen in your left hand. With your eyes closed, attempt to let the spirit of Mary guide your hand. Confirm that you understand these instructions. Yeah, I got it. That's what I was talking about. That is spirit writing. I learned that years ago. Does it actually it work? It actually works. You're hearing someone scream? I heard someone down the hallway screaming and I'm scared out of my mind. You doing okay? Not really. Tell Hal that he can stop. Hal, you can stop. Did you hear that screaming or was that just me? Didn't hear anything. What if I drew? It says wrong and that looks like a woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's on the page? I think I wrote no upside down here. So I wrote the word wrong and I wrote the word no. And then there's a picture of her, but she seems to be hanging and pointing to the word wrong. I think that pretty much answers your question. I'm, I'm feeling like physically sick and weak, like I need to get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. Oh God, I feel literally nauseous and dizzy and I feel like totally sick. Your investigation is complete. Return to base camp. Yeah, we know our way out. Oh. Oh, you guys are coming, right? Holy we're having an issue going down the stairs. I think someone just pushed Hal. Cold, and right here. Cold, right here. It's freezing right now on the third floor. I think something. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Something's definitely following Hal right now. Yeah. Yes, we're being followed. Absolutely. Yeah. And I can't really feel my fingers. Cold, right and it's freezing everywhere around us. I feel like we have. Yeah. We, we need to get out of here. Okay, just exit together and safely. I'm so done with that house. <gasps> Did you get pushed? Yeah, and then there was definitely like something was behind, behind us. Did you hey, to you guys? this like, says wrong. Yeah. That was like kind of a little pissed off that this was the exercise we were doing. Yeah. The noose itself over the thing, I thought that was much. Mocking. Yeah. It's so, not mocking. It's it's a reenactment of what happened. Right. You're not doing anything to hurt anyone. No, Spiritual writing, buddy. It's so never wrong. Happened. Okay, guys. You've completed your investigation of Waverly Hills Sanatorium. As a team, decide which of the areas you have investigated is the heart of the haunting, the most paranormally active. It's the hallway. There's nothing there except sounds, that's all. No, Donna saw. I saw this shadow of a man walking down the hall. There's something there. It's the shadow. I would vote on the fourth floor hallway. Me too. I got that's it. me. I think um, Timmy's on the roof, but he's okay. The so. fourth floor is bad stuff. Yeah. yeah. Surgical room is safe. The hallway is, you're going to have entities going up and down the hallways. But the fifth floor, the playground, the kids' place, Mary Hillenburg, that's the most paranormal place in the hospital. But you weren't on the fifth floor. I know, but I got the reports, and I saw the murder, and I saw, I listened to him when he was up there. That's why I saw the lit eyes, and that's why I saw the little kid running. Somebody, Somebody ran across, across the doorway, doorway near 502. I'm feeling like physically sick and weak, like I need to get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. The fifth floor is the most paranormal. I don't have a damn vote. <laughs> it is the fifth floor, it's 502. And guys, I know it, I know it already. Okay, it's fifth floor then, even though I think it's the fourth floor hallway. Yeah, let's do that. Next, discuss which member of the team made the strongest connection to the spirits at Waverly Hills. Well, you both actually saw entities, so I think it was either one of you two, Donna or Hal. I'd say Hal then. I'll say Hal. Well, yeah, because the kids, the kids are all yeah, the kid Let's pick Hal. For your final mission, the entire team will return to the fifth floor outside room 502, oh, the no, area no, you no, identified no, as the heart no, of the hauntings. No, Person will act as the conduit in your final task. He will serve as the bridge between this world and the spirit world. And open the large wooden box in front of the desk. 
Bring the following items with you. The roll up scroll from the wooden box. Got yes. it. The small green book with your final instructions. Check. A stethoscope. Yeah. Check. This artifact is closely tied to the ghost haunting this area and you'll use it to help you contact the spirit world. I don't want to go. What'd you say? No. Oh, I'm nervous. I think I could feel like some sort of something in this building. I don't feel good about this place anymore. All five of us go on the fifth mission. I'm not, that's yeah. not, that's up. There's uh, bad in that place. I don't wanna go. What'd you say? I don't feel good about this place anymore. All five of us go on the fifth mission. I'm not, that's yeah. not, that's up. There's uh, bad in that place. I don't want to be left by myself. I don't think we will. I'm not being left alone. I don't care. I'll break the rules. OK. Remember, at sunrise, this investigation is over. If I get possessed by an evil spirit, call a Catholic priest immediately for an exorcism. Be ready for anything. Let's go, kids. There's the ball. Oh my god, that wasn't there okay. when I left. That was Pass not there. on by. Wow. Here we go. Fifth floor. Okay, what do we know okay. on the table? Now, unroll the large scroll and spread it out on the table. This is a channeling scroll. It is designed to help you make contact with the spirits haunting this area. Place the final mission object in the square in front of Hal. The other two team members must keep their left hand on the handprint to keep the link from being broken and recite out loud the words written on the channeling scroll a total of three times. After the third reading, the spirit should be with you and ready to communicate. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. Do you know that you are dead? She's afraid that she is. Can you hear that? Are you angry or in pain? Feels more like pain. <gasps> want to leave this place? <laughs> that, that was right there. Practically was on us. No, it's okay. It's okay. That's not okay. It's time for the entities I say to go home. I've got no more questions. Please go back home. Back to where you began. And relieve yourself of this torment of staying in this cycle of perpetuation that never ends. You are no longer welcome here. Our circle is closed to you. Go and leave us in peace. And be in peace yourself. Let's go. We need to get out of here. I'm not leading the way. Wait. Hell, oh my god, the red ball is gone, you guys. The red ball is gone from that room. He's playing with it. It's great. It's... Uh uh. That was upstairs. Yeah, that's Timmy. Let's go. Go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 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 Come on out, kids. It's your wrap. They had a ball with us tonight, didn't they? Bye, Timmy. How? That stuff is weird. When stuff bangs like that, that yeah. has to be a sign. Car, how do you feel about all this? Everyone felt something, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. 
And you felt there was stuff in there, right? Well, I knew there was more I went there, but it's all fun and games. There's nothing to fear in there. Uh-oh, is that sunrise that's coming up? Sun's coming up, guys. Let's go. Even though I heard the mechanical tiger and I heard people walking and the pipes rattling and a ball rolling across the floor, so what? You're in their world. And when you get afraid, they'll tease you and they'll come and play with you in a harder way than they would normally. I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I came here with an open mind to find out if the place was haunted, but I wasn't fortunate enough to experience any of that. I wasn't special enough. This place is like the haunting hangout. There's so much energy and so much action in there. I didn't even believe that that was possible. I learned that I'm a lot more fearful of, you know, paranormal stuff than I thought I would be. I definitely think this place is haunted. I'm never going back in there again. The word haunted is kind of like a big word, you know. It, it sort of creates the idea that there's something there that's trying to pick a fight. I don't think that's what's happening here. I think some people who are stuck and scared to move on because they're scared of where they deserve to go or whatever. Everyone out there in TV land, by watching this show, you're going to discover things about yourself you did not even know. That's why this show is imperative to watch. I stand by my statement that Gary is the scariest thing in this whole place. Next week on Celebrity Paranormal Project. Oh my God, oh my God. This is cool. But this voice says, it's real. Yes. We're going down the long hallway. Pretty, pretty free. Five new celebrities investigate paranormal activity at the Warson Asylum for the Criminally Insane. There's, there's, there's a padded bed. Look at the mattress, look at the mattress. No, 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 no. Wait, well, didn't she die in a cell? Uh -huh. Come on, man, let's just go. Can't light meltdown right now. I knew you would keep us in here all day. Hey. I'm uh, currently by myself. I'm sweating. That sucks. <laughs> there's a presence here. Hey, this is Hal Sparks. You know, there's tons of extras from the Celebrity Paranormal Project at vspotph1.com. Go look at them. That's very scary. I'm trying to get a good angle on myself. You guys could get any <laughs> angle and it would be a good angle on oh, yourself. Oh, stop that. It's no, true. Go on. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Seriously. Yeah. You were on Baywatch. You're on America's Top Model. I think we can argue for telegenesis here. Now, I'm not being a jerk, but for real. Self-focusing. Anything in my teeth? No. <laughs> Wait, you were filming yourself. I know. I'm filming myself being a jerk. I'm not checking my teeth. I know. I'm the base commander. <laughs>